Have you ever felt like something's quietly draining your energy, leaving you feeling empty and disconnected? What if I told you that one of the most common habits something many of us rarely talk about might be the very thing killing your spirit? In today's episode, we're diving deep into the hidden impact of masturbation on your soul and uncovering how reclaiming your energy can transform your life. Stay tuned, because what you're about to learn could change everything. Segment 1, The Power of Sexual Energy Sexual energy is one of the most potent forces within us, serving as a foundational aspect of our life force, often referred to as prana or chi in various spiritual traditions. This energy, when harnessed and directed mindfully, has the potential to fuel creativity, enhance mental clarity, and deepen our spiritual connections. It's not just about physical pleasure, sexual energy is intertwined with our overall vitality, influencing how we express ourselves, how we interact with others, and how we pursue our goals. When we indulge in masturbation frequently, especially in a habitual or compulsive manner, we may inadvertently disperse this vital energy. Each act of release, though momentarily satisfying, can deplete our reservoir of this life force, leaving us feeling drained both physically and mentally. Over time, this can manifest as a lack of motivation, reduced creativity, and even a sense of disconnection from our deeper purpose. In many spiritual traditions, sexual energy is considered sacred. It's seen as a bridge between the physical and the spiritual realms, a means of not just connecting with others, but also with the divine within ourselves. Misusing or overindulging in this energy through acts like masturbation can disrupt this sacred balance, leading to a sense of spiritual disorientation. Instead of channeling this energy towards higher states of consciousness or creative endeavors, it becomes dissipated in a way that can leave us feeling empty or unfulfilled. Moreover, the constant depletion of sexual energy can contribute to feelings of anxiety, depression, and a general sense of lethargy. By understanding the power of sexual energy and learning to direct it wisely, we can enhance our overall well-being, ensuring that we remain vibrant, motivated, and spiritually aligned. Segment 2, The Illusion of Instant Gratification Instant gratification is a powerful force in modern life, driven by our desire for quick and easy pleasure. In today's world, where almost everything is available at the touch of a button, the temptation to seek immediate satisfaction is stronger than ever. Masturbation, especially when done compulsively, is a prime example of this. It offers a fast, accessible way to experience pleasure, providing a rush of dopamine the brain's reward chemical that creates a temporary feeling of happiness. However, this sense of pleasure is fleeting. The quick fix of masturbation can create a cycle where the need for immediate gratification overrides long-term fulfillment and well-being. Over time, this habit can desensitize the brain leading to a diminished ability to experience joy and satisfaction from other aspects of life. The more one indulges in this behavior, the more it reinforces the craving for instant pleasure, creating a loop that's hard to break. The danger of instant gratification lies in its ability to distract us from our deeper emotional and spiritual needs. Instead of addressing the underlying issues such as stress, loneliness, or a lack of purpose we turn to quick fixes that offer temporary relief but do not provide lasting contentment. This constant pursuit of short-term pleasure can lead to a hollow sense of existence, where the pursuit of deeper, more meaningful experiences is neglected. By recognizing the illusion of instant gratification, we can begin to seek out more sustainable and fulfilling ways to nurture our happiness and spiritual growth. Segment 3 Disconnecting from Your Higher Self our higher self represents the truest, most enlightened version of who we are, a guiding force that aligns us with our deepest values, purpose, and spiritual path. It's the part of us that seeks meaning beyond the material world, desiring connection with something greater. However, frequent engagement in masturbation, particularly when it becomes habitual, can create a disconnect from this higher self, leading to feelings of disorientation, emptiness, and a lack of direction in life. When we focus excessively on physical pleasures, like masturbation, 
our attention becomes anchored in the material and immediate rather than the spiritual and eternal. This overindulgence can cloud our intuition, dull our spiritual senses, and make it harder to connect with the deeper aspects of our being. The constant pursuit of pleasure can drown out the subtle, yet profound, guidance that comes from our higher self, leading to decisions that may satisfy in the short term, but leave us unfulfilled in the long run. Moreover, this disconnection can result in a life that feels increasingly shallow and ungrounded. The higher self is responsible for steering us toward our true purpose and fostering inner peace. When we're out of touch with this aspect of ourselves, we may find it challenging to find meaning in our actions, relationships, and life experiences. Reconnecting with the higher self requires mindfulness, introspection, and sometimes abstaining from habits that distract us from our spiritual journey, allowing us to realign with our true path and purpose. Segment four, the cycle of guilt and shame. The cycle of guilt and shame is a common consequence of frequent masturbation, especially when it conflicts with one's personal values or spiritual beliefs. After the temporary pleasure fades, many individuals experience a sense of regret or self-disgust, questioning why they engaged in the behavior. This emotional aftermath can be intense, often leading to feelings of guilt, where one feels they've done something wrong, and shame, where one feels there is something inherently wrong with them. This cycle is damaging because it creates a negative feedback loop that reinforces the behavior. The guilt and shame that follow masturbation can lower self-esteem, making a person feel unworthy or incapable of change. In an attempt to escape these uncomfortable emotions, individuals may turn back to the same behavior, seeking the short-lived comfort it provides. This only deepens the cycle as each instance of indulgence further fuels the feelings of guilt and shame, trapping the individual in a loop that can be difficult to break. Over time, this cycle can erode one's sense of self-worth and spiritual well-being. The constant battle between desire and regret can lead to a fragmented sense of identity, where one's actions are out of alignment with their values and higher aspirations. Breaking free from this cycle requires self-compassion and a conscious effort to address the underlying emotions driving the behavior. By cultivating a sense of forgiveness and understanding, individuals can begin to heal, reclaim their self-worth, and restore balance to their lives. Segment 5 Reclaiming Your Power and Spirit Reclaiming your power and spirit after recognizing the impact of compulsive master panchen involves a conscious and deliberate effort to realign with your true self. The first step is awareness acknowledging how this habit has affected your energy, emotions, and overall well-being. Awareness is empowering because it allows you to take control of your actions rather than being controlled by them. Next, it's essential to practice mindfulness. This means becoming more attuned to your thoughts, emotions, and triggers. When the urge to indulge arises, take a moment to pause and reflect on what you're truly seeking. Are you looking for comfort, escape, or a distraction from something deeper? By understanding the root causes of your behavior, you can begin to address them in healthier ways. Another crucial aspect of reclaiming your power is redirecting your sexual energy into more fulfilling and constructive activities this can include creative pursuits, physical exercise, meditation, or even focusing on personal goals and aspirations. These activities not only help in managing urges, but also allow you to channel your energy into something that nourishes your spirit and contributes to your personal growth. Self-compassion is key in this journey. It's important to remember that change is a process, and slip-ups may happen. Instead of falling back into the cycle of guilt and shame, approach yourself with kindness and understanding. Each day is a new opportunity to make choices that align with your higher self and to move closer to the life you truly desire. In addition to personal practices, seeking support can be incredibly beneficial. Whether it's through a trusted friend, a support group, or a spiritual advisor, Having someone to talk to can provide encouragement and accountability as you work to reclaim your power. Ultimately, reclaiming your power and spirit is about rediscovering your inner strength, realigning with your higher purpose, 
and nurturing the aspects of life that bring true joy and fulfillment. By making intentional choices and cultivating a deeper connection with yourself, you can break free from old patterns and step into a more vibrant, spiritually aligned existence. As we've explored today, our habits, no matter how small or seemingly harmless, can have a profound impact on our spiritual well-being. Master Shen, when it becomes a habitual escape or a source of instant gratification, can drain our vital energy, disconnect us from our higher self, and trap us in cycles of guilt and shame. But remember, recognizing this is the first step towards reclaiming your power. By becoming aware, practicing mindfulness, and redirecting your energy towards more fulfilling pursuits, you can realign with your true self and live a more vibrant, purposeful life. Your spirit is resilient, and with intentional effort, you can restore its strength and vitality. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery today. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Dreamer's Diary Chronicle for more deep dives into the topics that truly matter. If you know someone who might benefit from this message, share it with them. Let's spread the knowledge and support each other in reclaiming our spirits. Until next time, keep nurturing your inner light, stay connected to your higher self, and remember your journey is just as important as your destination. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.